guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Faith, nice to meet you. And for all my returning subscribers, I love you guys. I'm going to be telling you the 10 essentials that you need in your makeup kit. I think it can be super, super confusing if you're not someone who's like, completely obsessed with makeup but you still want to have a good collection and have something that you know you can count on for when you want to apply makeup. Hopefully this will really break it down for you and show you what you really actually need as opposed to when you watch a YouTube video and there's like 20 or 30 products listed in the description bar and there's no way you need all of that. Of course it's fun, I've been guilty of that. There's definitely makeup tutorials where I have more than just 10 products listed, but that's because I'm playing, I'm having fun with makeup. This video is really to show you what you need weeding out all of the unnecessary makeup products that you really don't truly need. They're more just like the icing on top of the cake. I'm not including makeup application tools in this kit. These are the actual makeup products that you're going to need. I'm going to work through the 10 essentials that I have for you in the order that I would apply them. I figured that that would be an easy way to explain the steps and I have some tricks for certain products here that will allow you to use them in more ways than one, which is why we can keep this kit to just 10 items. I'm also going to be showing you a drugstore option and a high-end option. So for each of these 10 items, I'll show you one of each and kind of explain to you the pros and cons of both. The first essential item I have for you is foundation. Now if you watch YouTube videos, you might be thinking, wow, she skipped primer. I really don't think that primer is all that necessary. If you have extremely problem skin, very, very oily, or super, super dry, you might wanna use something to combat that in terms of your skincare. For me, I'm very, very dry. I just use my regular old moisturizer, and then, as you see in some of my videos, I do use a primer, but I really don't think it adds that much to the routine. So I am starting with foundation or skipping primer. The drugstore foundation I have for you is actually something that if you're in the US you have to order online. It's available at Ulta.com, so easy shipping and it's not expensive whatsoever. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation, quite the name. The reason I love this foundation is because it's very, very dewy, it's long wearing. I'm actually wearing this foundation right now. If you're looking for maybe a higher end foundation, the one I wanted to show you is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. They're quite similar packaging. This one does last a bit longer, but I notice it can be a little bit dry for me. So if you are more on the oily side, I would recommend this. If you're oily, I would not recommend this. I would recommend the LA Girl if you're dry. The second essential makeup item for your makeup kit is concealer. I feel a little bit better after I put on foundation, but after I put on concealer, I finally feel like I'm awake and looking like myself. The concealer that I use most often is a higher end concealer. It's the Tarte Shape Tape. It is a bit pricier, but it has a lot in this bottle. If you don't wanna spend that much money, two drugstore concealers that I would recommend are the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I use the neutralizer shade, which is like a yellowy shade, or the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. This is a the lightest shade they have, and it's a bit dark, so if you're very fair, this probably won't, won't work for you. I would use this one, but two really good drugstore options if you're not interested in the Tarte Shape Tape, and I do recommend that you get a shade lighter, or at least maybe even two shades lighter than your natural skin tone because it'll really brighten up your under eye and you'll look fantastic, but it's definitely an essential. The third essential in your makeup kit has to be some sort of setting powder. You're going to want to set down these liquidy products that you're putting on your face so that when you go in with bronzer, with blush, with eyeshadow, 
you're not putting a powder right on liquid, it's going to be extremely hard to blend. So I really recommend using a setting powder. I have the Cover FX Translucent Light Setting Powder. You've probably seen this all over YouTube. I honestly would recommend getting this drugstore one instead. These are the exact same product. The only difference I see in these is that with the Cover FX powder, it's a little bit more yellow toned and the Maybelline is slightly more pink, but you can barely even tell, especially once you put it in the places that you need to set. Um, so again, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is a new product at the drugstore. I would highly recommend getting this one. Don't spend your money on the Cover FX, unless for whatever reason you find this doesn't work for you and you want to try this. The fourth makeup essential I have for you is bronzer. Bronzer again is one of those essentials that really transforms the face a lot like concealer. I definitely think it's an essential. I again have two options for you. The first is a Too Faced bronzer. This is the Beach Bunny bronzer. I love this bronzer, but you can find really good bronzers at the drugstore. Here is an example of one. This is the Bronze Booster from Physicians Formula. I also really, really love this formula. Definitely an essential for your makeup kit. The fifth essential for your makeup kit is blush. You definitely, definitely need some blush, especially if you're going somewhere where people are going to be taking pictures or maybe it's a special event. If you don't wear blush, you can really look washed out. The first option I have for you here is a Tarte blush, and this is actually a really nice blush, but it came in this like sample pack. This is a really nice way to go if you want to test out higher end products but don't want to spend the money on a full size. A kind of dupe honestly for this blush is this Milani blush. This is one of their powder blushes and it kind of has that like rose look. This is super super inexpensive. Really really nice blush from the drugstore or a higher end option for you. So the sixth essential makeup product that I think you need in your kit is some sort of eyeshadow palette. I have two options again for you. The first is the higher end option. This is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. This is a very, very nice palette definitely worth the money. The shades are so buttery. You have a ton of neutral shades as you can see up here. So if you're a little bit afraid of some of these brighter shades, then you can stay away from them. Or it could maybe bring out your creative side and help you to play a little bit more. It comes with a really, really nice chocolatey brown color as well, which I think is really nice. However, if you don't want to spend that much money, a really good option is to buy a palette from Morphe. I really, really like the Morphe palettes. They're extremely affordable for the amount of shades you get. And again, really easy to play with. Great for beginners if you are a beginner. With eyeshadow. Also, you could get away with using one of your eyeshadows as highlighter. So example, in this Modern Renaissance palette, these two shades here, Vermeer and Primavera, they're shimmery, they're gorgeous. Just use those as highlighter. You don't need to buy an expensive highlighter. Use one of the light shimmery shades from your eyeshadow palette and you're all set to go. Another little tip is if you want to fill in your brows, which I know a lot of people starting into to, you know getting into makeup brows are not something that you feel really comfortable filling in you can use one of the chocolatey brown shades or if you're blonde one of the blonder shades whatnot to fill in your eyebrows this one here too from the Anastasia palette this brown shade you can use that to dabble in with filling in your eyebrows if you have just like an eyeliner brush and that can be a nice step to advancing your makeup skills the seventh essential I have for you is some type of charcoal-like eyeliner. Just in case you want to smoke out your lower lash line or your top lash line, this is maybe for those nights out. My favorite right now is the Revlon 2-in-1 Angled Kajal Liner. There's two sides to it. There's like a brush side that once you apply the liner side, you can smoke out your lash line with. And I think that this is an essential if you want to take your eyes to the next level. Sometimes it's hard to do that with just an eyeshadow palette. And this is a super, super easy way to really enhance your eyes. I know, again, for beginners, liquid liner is not necessarily something that you want to try out yet. So I didn't include that. I included kind of a charcoal liner because it's a lot easier to use. It's what I started with when I started dabbling into makeup. And it really can give the same effect and the same intensity to the eyes. If you try the Revlon one or another drugstore liner and you don't feel like it's enough for you, a really, really nice one is just the Sephora uh, one and this is called just their waterproof 
contour eye pencil. It's a 12 wear eye pencil and it's just like a black charcoal type liner. Really, really nice if you find that the drugstore liners aren't giving you enough pow. This is a nice one. This is what I have in my waterline and kind of on my lower lash line today. The next absolute essential is mascara. A lot of you probably already have this. This is an obvious essential. It totally takes your eyes to the next level. I have two options here again for you. One is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is a new mascara. The packaging is very similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but I actually don't really like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara that much. This one's actually a little bit better, but I do have a higher end mascara that I really, really love even more. It is the Tarte Maneater Mascara. Try this Tarte Maneater, especially if you find that your problem is clumpy lashes. This will completely, completely separate your lashes. Really, really nice mascara, but there's a lot at the drugstore you can get that'll be perfect for your makeup kit if you're just starting out. The next essential is some sort of lip product, and I thought for those of you that are maybe watching this because you're starting out with makeup, the most appropriate product might be just a light lip gloss. And the two options I have for you are the NYX Butter Gloss or the Anastasia uh, just lip gloss. Um, honestly, get the NYX one. You don't need to spend your money on this. There is a little bit more pigmentation in the Anastasia ones, but I love this NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Fortune Cookie. The Anastasia one I have is in the shade Butterscotch. They're almost identical in shade, but I find the NYX one to be a bit more hydrating and it looks just as good. I have it on top of the lipstick I'm wearing today and I really, really love it. It just gives your makeup a completed look and makes your lips a little bit poutier. My 10th essential for you is setting spray. Now, different from primer, I know a lot of people will say, like I did, that primer is not really necessary, and they'll say the same thing about setting sprays, that does it really do anything? Is it really a necessary step? I am from the group that says it absolutely is an essential. I love the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I actually don't even have a high-end option to show you because this is all I ever use. The reason I think it's an essential is because it makes your skin look like skin again. So after you've put on your foundation, your concealer, the powder, everything, your skin can kind of look cakey, made up, you know, just too much. This will not only make your makeup last, but just make your skin look like skin again by setting down the powder. If you take the flat end of your sponge and just kind of pat it in, this is really an essential. I cannot finish my makeup without using this. This is also really good to spray on your brushes if you want to intensify any of the eyeshadows you have in your eyeshadow palette. This is just an all-around really, really important product and I highly recommend including it as a part of your makeup kit. That's it guys, that wraps up my 10 essentials for your makeup kit. I hope that this was helpful for those of you that are starting the makeup journey or maybe you just need to cleanse your makeup kit because you're not into it anymore and you just want the essentials. Uh, so I hope that I broke this down easily for you and it was easy to follow. If you liked this video and want to see more videos like this, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified when I upload. I upload at least twice a week. I really, really love love doing this and love making videos for you guys. So please, I would love it if you would support me by subscribing to my channel and becoming a part of my true makeup family. Bye!